Hello Euro, this is your uh, week three art lesson and you are going to be developing your theme which is layers. The plan is that you are going to be drawing objects from around your home. Now I will send out a list of objects, well a suggestion, a suggestion of objects that you can draw from. However, you ultimately need to make your own decisions of objects that you particularly like. So today's lesson you're going to find an, uh, an object from around your home and you're going to place it in front of you or next to you mine's my watch and then you need a piece of paper and just a pencil for now okay and maybe a rubber all right and what you're going to do this lesson you're going to do a continuous line drawing so i'm going to write it on here continuous line drawing okay and then you're going to draw your object that's in front of you now some of you have done continuous line drawings before however um, I will show you a, an example of a continuous line drawing right now so the first rule is once your pen your pencil is on your paper you cannot take it off okay so the idea is that you start to draw your object Remember, you are finding an object from home and you're going to place it in front of you and draw from direct observation. Okay? So far, I have not taken my pencil off the paper. And if you see me take my pencil off the paper, be free to message me and tell me I did. Okay. As you can see, it's nowhere near perfect and yours won't be either. Okay, my pencils, my watch's face is quite big. Okay, it's starting to form now. You can start to see the shape of the watch. A bit more. Now, as you can see, I'm doing this at two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. If you do decide to draw your own watch, don't draw a Fitbit because they don't really have much detail on them. Okay. And once you've done this in pencil, I'm going to get you, I'm going to ask you to work over it in pen. Okay? And at that point you will take your pencil off the paper. There's my continuous line drawing. Okay. You should spend roughly around probably 15, 20 minutes on this particular part of the activity. Once you've done that, you may start working into it with your pen. But this time, you can take your pen off the paper. go over all of your shape I'm starting to see lots of mistakes in mine And there are a list of things that you can actually draw. So I'm going to read some out to you because I've made a list which is beside me. So, uh, list of things that you can draw. So there are consoles, so your PlayStation, Xbox, Sega Mega Drive, 
control pads, sports tops, uh, footballs, cricket bats, cricket balls, watches, jewelry, aftershave, perfumes, sunglasses, musical instruments, anything that really interests you. Okay, so any of those objects that I've just read out, you can draw. And if you have other things that you like, you might want to draw. I haven't named everything, so you need to make a choice for yourself. Okay, but if you do decide to draw a cricket ball or a bat, remember it doesn't change anything. You do have to do a continuous line drawing, which means you do not take your pencil off the paper. Okay, I'm not going to say this is my best drawing I've ever done, far from it. But the idea behind a continuous line drawing is that you constantly look at your object whilst you're moving your pen or pencil. So when you're drawing, you're constantly moving your pencil and looking at this object at the same time. Okay? And once you've done that, then you might want to start adding some tones. So there's your detail and your tones. And eventually, it should look something like this. Okay. Well, I've added lots of tones into my work. Now, as you can see, there are lots of red dots in the background. All I did with that is ask your mum or dad if you have any beetroot juice, and you might sp uh, sprinkle some beetroot juice on it, on at home. Or you might even choose to use coffee or tea. Just get a wet tea bag and just dab it on. Okay, you might want to do that at the end after your drawing. It's really up to you, it makes no difference. Okay, so you can probably tell I spent a little bit more time on this one. All right. Here's another one that I did as well. Here's a John Paul Gaulle EA bottle. Again, this was a continuous line drawing, believe it or not. And I've just worked up the tones. And you might think, well, why is the tones in here? What's this? This is actually just a fine line of pen. And I know some of you have done this in my lesson. Mixed with a bit of water. and then just paint into it. Okay. So you need to spend roughly around an hour on this activity in order to get something to this sort of a standard. Okay. I don't want it coming back looking like this. It needs to be, you need to add lots of tones lots of tones, lots of detail and make it very neat. Okay? Thank you.